Hi, hi, hello! We have a new collection event on where you can get your hands on a free heroic dragon by collecting some more pumpkins. And so you'll see that we have this ad number 15 right here and we get this possessed pumpkin antique and in an hour we can go and watch some more ads but we actually have a pumpkin at 15, we've got a pumpkin at number 30, we've got a pumpkin at 45, and a pumpkin up at 60, and then we also have another one at 75, and another at 90. Some people apparently have only 60 ads or something slightly different, but this means that you'll have to be logging in pretty much every single hour and watching these ads to get your hands on these free possessed pumpkins, but if you do, then you can take part in this new collection event the DTV's antique sale, which lasts three days. And in this, if you get your hands on 18 pumpkins, you will get a free high earthen dragon, 70 orbs, and you'll also get a free reaper perk. You'll also get some more orbs for the dragon, 15 jokers, and you'll get some free legendary joker orbs as well. So to be honest, that's a pretty good deal just for some random ad watching. We did have a similar one to this with a uh, high score, also known as high incel dragon, and uh, quite a while ago. But of course, that means you're gonna have to be super diligent with your ad watching. So I definitely recommend for you to get logged in as soon as possible. Now, how good is High Earthen? He's not like crazy, crazy good or anything. He's not like a heroic VIP, but I mean, he is a VI uh, not a VIP, a heroic dragon at the end of the day. And you know, maybe you'll have a use for him. And High Earthen Daddy is always a lovely one to add to your collection. If not, free, free gold to generate anyway. So get logged in, get watching those ads. If you don't care about higher, then of course you can ignore them if you want to. It's your choice. Uh, so for anyone that was sort of upset that for the other Halloween event that we've got going on that they weren't really able to take part, at least we now have this antique cell that will give you something. Even if you only get to like 12, at least you'll get some orbs for him and some free heroic jokers. So Halloween isn't completely ruined. So I'm... I'm I'm at least glad for that for the rest of you. But again, I'll be getting this zombie habitat very soon in this extra Reaper perk. I'm not sure who I'll ever put the Reaper perks on, but we will decide that at some later point in time. Uh, but that is the main thing that we've got going on at the moment with these extra pumpkins. Of course, make sure you're doing the rest of your quests if you can do them. But the other thing that we've got, of course, is Wizard's Hollow. And yesterday we did get very lucky and get a free Karma Dragon out of it. And the main reward prize being Electric Titan isn't very exciting, but the actual main reward this time around is probably going to be this Golden Master Chest because you could get your hands on HMK, you could get 100 orbs, 25 orbs for him, or you can get your hands on random heroics, so you could even get uh, high, higher than daddy randomly out of here. You could get your hands on a free karma. Oh god, Ambition Karma would be such a lovely one. We did get Kung Flow yesterday, which was nice. Or you're just going to get your hands on some gems or some jokers. So it can get quite bad. And if you get any of these bottom three, it would be a bit eh. But if you manage to get your hands on at least nine of these golden runes, you'll at least have a chance to open up this chest. And the potential to get high master karma, even though the chance is not high, is uh, tempting. And wow, really? We get a wizard this early? <laughs> Ah, I feel like every time I've been been live doing this recently, we've been getting screwed over. I should do everything offline from now on. <laughs> I say that. There's been a couple of times where we've gotten very lucky. It's just RNG at the end of the day. Sometimes you will get lucky, other times you will not. Yesterday we got karma, so I am not going to complain whatsoever. It's just, uh, it's just one of those things where you've just got to hope and pray. Sometimes it's not going to work out. Uh, I might, I might quit this one out. But if you are going to be gemming for this, be aware that you may spend some gems and not get any gems back, or you may spend some gems and not even get a good dragon out of it. So definitely be very aware of that before you start, you know, uh, spending like crazy just to gem for that golden master chest over there. But apart from that, of course, we've got the Heroic Race still ongoing. We are about to enter lap 7 very soon. And, you know, getting to lap 7 by the end of day 1 is roughly where I would expect us to be at. So there's nothing crazy there. But I guess uh, that's the most of the new stuff that I wanted to go through for now. 
And for anyone that is wondering, that is a newer player, for instance, how you get your hands on heroic dragons in general, like higher than you can actually get them quite easily over time, mainly from the orb shop here. So make sure you're always, always logging in to buy these because you can get orbs for a heroic and a legendary, for instance, like a free life melt dragon. I already have him. Orbs for high positivity. I've already got him. In fact, I have a dupe for him as well. But now we get free orbs for him as well. And over time, you will slowly be able to make up a supply of heroic orbs to the point where it's looking kind of like uh, my selection, where if I go to my heroic orbs here, you see we've got all of our heroic race dragons up here, but then we've got dragons like High Winter, High Tech, High Scorchwing, High Overlord, and most of these we got most of the orbs, honestly, from that 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 orb shop in in the shop there that's just in exchange for gold some of them we did trade some orbs for but a good portion of these we got them from the orb shop and we are very close to pretty much all of these i mean we can summon these ones and then we've got some others further down that like we've got 77 for him 75 for high voodoo he's not going to appear except for gems then the others we will build our collection slowly but surely but you just see how many orbs we've got just by logging in and buying them from the shop. You get so many of them. So don't panic too much when it comes to these heroics and thinking, oh, I'm never going to be able to get them. Well, you probably will. You just need to give it some time. So you don't need to stress over these heroics too much. But of course, whenever they do bring out these special events for them, we are just going to get free stuff. So you might as well try and take part. And then that's one less heroic that you'll have to collect later on. But more heroics is better than less heroics, IMO. So I would just suggest picking him up anyway if you can. It's just going to be, uh, I've, I've got busy stuff to do today. So having to log in every hour for this is going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, obviously, it's not every hour, but it's pretty much going to end up being like that in case you miss any time frames. I do like the fact that we do have the heroic drops as well in this. So you could get really lucky and end up actually getting more than one heroic. Uh, even in one day you could get like three of them in one day even so uh, i wish you the very best of luck with these ad sets make sure you're logging in and watching these and i hope that you do have all 90 of them to watch so that you can collect these every day and get your hands on another free heroic